A ruling from a federal judge tonight means Michigan Congressman John Conyers has a shot now at becoming dean of the U.S. House. He's back on the ballot, and our Jim Kirchner broke the news to him. This is the ruling. The ink is barely dry. It says that the Wayne County Election Commission shall place Mr. Conyers on the ballot, and it has to be done by 5 o'clock next Thursday, May 29th. You win. You're the first to bring this to my attention, and uh, it, I'm trying not to smile uh, overly much, but this is very good news. Not quite ready to smile yet because the state can appeal. And what does Conyers' rival have to say about all this? 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live tonight with that part of our story. Julie? Well, Stephen, Reverend Horace Sheffield, he's not thrilled, but he's certainly not going to let this derail him from his goal, which is to win that seat. Congressman John Conyers continued to contain his emotions, even after 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner first told him he was back on the August primary ballot. It's also good news for the process. We think that uh, there needs to be uh, as much effort put in making uh, participation in the electoral process important. We tracked down his opponent, Reverend Horace Sheffield, at dinner tonight. He doesn't think Congressman Conyers should get a free pass when two of the people collecting signatures for the congressman were not properly registered to vote, a violation of state law. I think anyone who's uh, subjected themselves 24 times to the same process and has never complained about it uh, and now wants a special consideration for themselves says, uh, as seems to be the case with him now, that I'm, I'm a law unto myself. Earlier today, the Michigan Secretary of State Elections Division issued a determination that Congressman Conyers did not have enough signatures to be on the ballot, but the judge's ruling supersedes that decision. There were what could be considered mistakes made, but uh, I don't think anybody should be determining what the punishment should be. That's, that's what we, we have uh, election officials for. I've said all along uh, that we were prepared to run against Congressman Conyers. I mean, uh, we, we weren't stymied or waiting for uh, the court to make some decision. We've been doing our ground game and doing what we need to do all along. Even though he's baffled by the ruling, Reverend Sheffield says he's ready to put up a fight for the congressman's seat. Bottom line is we had nothing to do with this. I wish the congressman well. I'm looking forward to a robust debate. And Sheffield tells me tonight that, well, you know, he just has to wait and see whether or not the attorney general, Bill Schuette, will appeal this decision. Until then, he'll continue to campaign. We're live from downtown Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Uh, Julie, as you expect, 7 Action News will stay on top of this story and bring you all the latest developments on air and online just as soon as we get them. Holiday weekend.